What's up, YouTube? Yes. Alien Scientist here. I'm starting live. Uh, we're recording right now. So, um, all right. And three, two, one. What's up, YouTube? Alien Scientist here. As promised, I would be coming back the month of October. And um, what a weird way to start the month of October with uh, with what happened in Las Vegas and of course the entire internet's all talking about this what happened in Las Vegas and um, you know my, my plan original plan was to come out with all this UFO stuff and and, and start releasing videos on um, all kinds of stuff uh, I wanted to do a, a couple videos in particular on the TR3B um, Ed Fouché has passed away and um, it's time to release a bunch of real information about this TR3B. And um, it's just in queue about a month ago, uh, or it was like actually a couple weeks after Ed actually died. Uh, he died back in May. And a couple couple weeks after he died, this disinformation video started popping up about the TR3B. And um, I really hope to... May 14th? Yeah, well, we really hope to debunk those. And... Um, and and bring some uh, truth out there for what really really went on and uh, no one knows ed better than his best friends which um we've kind of gotten together um myself and my guest here with me tonight mr dan uh dan the man um withholding his last name until he settles a lawsuit and uh then he'll be happy to reveal his tr real name and identity and uh n no shame about it but you know the last thing you want when you're facing a lawsuit in court is to people to start bringing up aliens and and uh conspiracies so <laughs> that's true so um but anyways uh dan and i have been friends for many years and uh this guy is is the uh, go-to guy for case knowledge on UFOs and ufology. Uh, anything you could possibly want to know or, or need to know about any case in UFO history, this guy knows it inside and out. And the experts who go and talk on these subjects like Michael Schratt and some of these other people actually call this dude on the phone to ask him questions and his advice, as uh, some people have done with me <laughs> in the past too. So, so we have right now um, two experts in the field of ufology um or, or really just science in general uh I'm, I'm more the scientist side and and dan's more the uh ufo case knowledge this guy's like uh this guy's like uh, fox Mulder when it comes to uh x files and we're going to be coming back to the and revisit the x files we we're going to make the most epic team ever you know you, you look at uh the team that Jesse Ventura put together for True TV, you know, some of these joke teams that you see out there that have investigated conspiracies in the past, right? All we need is me and Danny, um, and we're gonna completely just own. Uh, we're gonna come back in a force, and we're gonna, we're our plan is to do a daily debunk video, like every day. We're gonna get on and just do like five minutes live, off the cuff, all no holds barred. Whatever happens, happens. Um, just go with it, and we're going to do like a daily debunk video where we literally pick a topic and just um, rip it to shreds. Um, and then once a week, we're going to, or once a month, every so often, we're going to be doing the videos, uh, a little bit more elaborate videos on the stuff that we can't debunk and um, some of our angles on things. But um, while well, we're here today and while well, everyone's attention is focused off of the field of ufology or science or cold fusion or uh free energy or anti-gravity or any of the other topics that i in fully intend to discuss and, and delve into in deep in deep detail over the next uh, couple months um with my return to youtube um we're gonna have to do a video here today and talk a little bit about um some of the conspiracies and some of the theories and 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 i mysteries and some of the strangeness just surrounding this uh la shooter and this this guy just who exactly was steven paddock and what was he doing with all those guns and millions of dollars and 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 gambling away at casinos because uh the, the the news media and the news narrative that we've gotten from the media just uh as danny and me have gone over it just doesn't not make sense um how can a guy make millions of dollars as a professional gambler and do it on slot machines <laughs> it it's a joke it's really a joke to uh, think that anyone can make money at a casino uh or gambling or on slot machines uh it, you'd 
you'd have to be like, um, yeah, I'm a professional uh, lottery ticket buyer. I just go and buy lottery <laughs> tickets all day and scratch them, and I and and I make money off it, and and I'm able to support myself as an income off of the the winnings I get from lottery tickets. <laughs> Today, the narrative is that he was playing multiple. I saw. It all, I watched CNN to laugh and to see what the disinformation is. Uh, today, the narrative is, is that he was playing three at once, three slot machines at once. Yeah, three um, three slot machines okay. at once. Uh, quite a, quite a feat, you know. And if you're able to do three slot machines at once, somehow that increases your winning of uh, your chances of winning on each one independently, and uh, and that you were able to make money and generate money continuously through this. So me and Dan have been throwing some other ideas around about uh, what seems a more plausible scenario is that the guy who owns a couple airplanes, invests in real estate, pays for everything in cash, kind of has large lo- large amounts of cash on hand, seemingly um, from whatever, what we've heard and what we've seen about from the news reports about this guy. Um, just maybe, you know... Uh, our Vladimir Dutier oh, wait, is... Hold up. I got some other stuff. I wanted to show some um, other videos and stuff, but of course... Family. And it was a big one. Yeah, hey, hey let's watch this. Absolutely was a big he worked one. at Lockheed Martin from 85 to 90, I think. A lot of he worked in the skunk world. His What's that CNN? Life? Well, we turned to his home in Mesquite, Security Nevada. Clear. So what do you think about this guy, uh, Dan? Let's skip what the, the mainstream media is saying and get right to like so, some some more interesting okay. um <laughs> perspectives okay um first of all he, he was he the shooting was in las vegas he had three different homes in nevada one in reno one in mesquite and i can't remember where the other one was probably vegas and he lived a lot in the hotels um he stayed in the hotels because he spent so much money there my theory is the guy there's a massive cover-up and the cover-up is because I think he was an arms dealer for the CIA. That's what I think he was. And um, so, so you're, we were just talking and, and coming up with ideas. And me and me and Danny, right before I hit record on this, because I, I wanted to record an actual video and, and kind of talk about this. So we were just throwing around some theories. And Dan's like, "Oh, I don't even want to put go on video about this because I'm afraid, you know, if we're right, they're gonna they're gonna go after us." And or whatnot, but who, who? We're just, we're just, we have no information, no inside scoop on this. We're just, um, we're just very educated and intelligent people that have been doing this quite a while. That have some insights that other people may not, and um, I, I seem to think it's a very plausible uh, scenario that he may have been an arms dealer or a uh, drug drug dealer or some some sort of uh, arms deal was going down in this hotel room, and um, it went bad, and then. They went and shot up a bunch of people, did a terrorist attack, and then blamed it on him at the, in the meantime. And for all we know, who who could have this arms deal? Who you 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 seem to think it was ISIS, but you know, like um, right, Danny, that was that was what you you would. Well, you'd... they've taken claim for the shooting. They've taken claim for this, and they're not known for taking claim for anything they don't do. Um, they could take claim for all kinds of stuff that happens across the world. There's terror incidents every day. They are known for only taking claim for the stuff they do, and they have absolutely taken responsibility for this shooting. Um, the mainstream media is not reporting on that. However, Israeli media was reporting on it um, the next day. Well, it's just um, an interesting idea. I don't really ne- necessarily want to point fingers directly to anybody, especially not I- ISIS. This seems like just propaganda, right? Yeah. <laughs> like that's what I would, I would assume right. that maybe this is an inserted especially coming from israel that it, this is some sort of disinformation or propaganda that's being put out by israel um which that would make sense under that context but um right there is an idea that that maybe there was something else going on inside of that hotel room that there might have been an you know this guy how did he get the amount of money and, and we were talking about ideas like uh Casinos are a great way to launder large amounts of cash if you are an arms dealer or a drug dealer or someone who deals in um, large amounts of cash that need to be laundered. And casinos love those types of people because they come in, they buy a hundred thousand, they gamble away ten ten grand, and then they cash out at ninety grand. And um, that way they have a legit. It looks like gambling winnings uh, for them. 
Yep. He's and doing 100,000 an hour, they reported today. 100,000 so an hour. 100,000 an hour. And he actually went into that hotel on the 25th, not the 28th, uh, like the media is reporting. There's hotel receipts. From the 25th for That's two people, insane. not one. So who else? Was so you'd there have to go to the high roller, high roller uh, slots that are a dollar of a roll, then bet, and then put put the max bet on each roll. It would, just, yeah, it would. <laughs> yeah, I, the, the whole slot machine thing don't make any sense. I can understand if he's playing poker all the all day, but uh, where's the pictures? Where's the video? There should be, they should be pumping out tons of the 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 the. the, the there's so many cameras inside these places. They should be pumping out tons of photographs of this guy sitting at a table or playing a slot machine. All you ever see is that one picture of him with his eyes closed. And oh yeah, techniques. securities and ca security and casinos. They have some of the best security. They have the money to to do it for for one. And yep. it's called the eye in the sky. Yeah, they have some of the best cameras. They have IP cameras with with. Uh, video records that date back probably months so they've probably they probably have uh you know 700 terabytes worth of storage on on their and on well, their they dvr a video like, of him in 2011 jeremy falling down so they have a video of him falling on the ground in the casino in 2011 six years ago why do they yeah have so why haven't they like tr this is like the boston bombing like where they were we we went eventually we came the FBI went and confiscated and hid all those things from us, which caused a, a great stir in the conspiracy um, world. But I went and put pieced together a couple of those own those videos myself and was able to kind of connect the dots a little bit better and trace the, the footsteps of these guys. But why I'm saying why haven't they done that in this case with all those casino all that casino footage they have where he was gambling, where he was staying in the hotel, the hotel footage too. All that surveillance yeah. footage, they should be able yeah. to piece together a, a like in a, his entire stay from the time he got there until he until he this event happened, and exactly. and everyone that came to his hotel and went into it and came in from that floor like they would have you know I don't know if they have cameras on every right. floor they obviously don't have one outside his hotel room but usually they have them by the elevators, um, as we now, one, right one thing I did want to clear up is there's a lot of people saying hey. Even on InfoWars, they're like, he would have had to have carried his bags up to his rooms. No, 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 no. This guy had a platinum membership. When that guy, if they don't pick him up by limousine and bring him to the casino. If he's dropping 100 grand an hour, yeah, they're, they're, yeah, they're, they treat him like. He carry his bags up to the no. 30 seconds. And they floor. don't ask what's in them. They don't care. They don't question he it. He hands a couple guys a $100 bill and says, here you go. And they already know where he's staying. And they don't look in your bags. That's all bullshit. When you're a high roller like that, you're staying in the penthouse places up there. They're not going to be looking in your bags. And, and, and imagine him carrying all this crap up there. Um, so the, they you know, have some record of where, where he, when he started arming himself and buying the munitions. And then he sends his girlfriend away to the Philippines on vacation while he does this whole thing. Um, yeah. And sends her $100,000, which they were like, wow, you know, he sent her $100,000. This guy supposedly gambled away a hundred thousand an hour you know and but the question is where the hell is that money coming from yeah that's you know? the big question it's is you didn't know, not just real estate there's got to be some other deep state right. and you you mentioned a deep state connection what's this lockheed martin and skunk works connection you would you would uh angle you would um there's documentation that's been researched and pulled up if you type his name in stephen paddock Lockheed Martin, uh, he worked at the Skunk Works from 85 to 90, I believe. Um, and it's definitely the same guy. It's been confirmed. And what did so, he do, though? Was he like, he wasn't a scientist or anything? The whole, the whole thing is, is if you were at Skunk Works, you have a top secret clearance um, with SAPs and FCIs, which are special access programs. Um, he was involved basically what I'm trying to tell you is he had to have a CIA clearance or was working with the CIA if you are at the skunk works you're involved in DARPA uh, the CIA all them clandestine programs um, you don't get in and out of there without a top secret clearance that is a absolute fact 
so is that when he started his possible career working for the government? I think so. But let's just say, let's say he was, there's some theories that he was undercover FBI. Bullshit. Undercover FBI agents don't have millions of dollars. Okay. No. This guy has, has, has houses everywhere. He retired all his family, he retired his brother in Florida. I don't know if you've seen the videos of his brother in Florida two days in a row talking. It, it, he's very bizarre. It was like he was the first day he came out and said that he, he doesn't understand, you know, he doesn't think his brother did it. And then the second day he's blaming his brother and saying that his brother was the lone gunman and no one helped him. How did his brother know? Because he was threatened. They threatened him and said, look, you get back on that TV tomorrow and either you do this or do that, or you ain't going to be, you're, you're, we're going to erase you. We're going to take away all your money because he admitted that him and his brother owned a bunch of these properties together. And guess what they'll do? Because this guy supposedly killed a bunch of people. They'll seize everything. doesn't matter if his brother owned was part owner. Also, Jeremy, you got to look at the reportings that they're not showing at all in the news. There's, there's, oh. there's a couple of guys. One of them was an Army veteran that, that reported multiple shooters. Uh, I can't remember his name right now. He was in the hotel. He's like, man, there are multiple gunmen running around in here. I've seen them. Um, he didn't see Stephen Paddock. Uh, it, 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 the guy's been on different websites, and I think InfoWars reported it. That's another thing. InfoWars broke the story the other day that um, the FBI guys that are inside there were so pissed off because they're not allowed to report. There was supposedly um, literature. I'm not going to mention what group it was right now. There was supposedly literature all over the room, almost like it was planted there. It was two, group, two groups. And the literature that was posted all around his room are two groups that are, one's a terror group and one is basically become, has just become considered a terror group. Hmm. Yeah, there's nothing you can really find on this in relation to, you know, like on the any what? of those search terms. Um, I searched for, Martin. I searched, yeah, I searched uh, Lockheed Martin. Let me find that one. Lockheed it's on there. Martin. So, yeah, just type, yeah, and type his name in Paddock's P A D D O C K, I believe. And Stephen, I think, is with a PH and not an EV. What is this? New York Post had That's government job by 33. Yeah, you should be able to find the document that has his name right on it. Oh, state. see, for he worked as an agent of the IRS for six years until 1984. And then he went to work for Lockheed. As an auditor for defense contracts. He's a defense contract auditor. And yeah. then he probably went to work on the inside after he left there. Like, oh yeah, you help us and out. Defense, let me tell you something about a defense contract auditor. They have full access. Yeah, they probably got they full probably access. got paid to, to like basically not like once you become an auditor they, they they automatically know like all right we're gonna get audited and they buy you out and that's probably <laughs> exactly what happened dude yeah, this he, guy was in this guy was bought out and he was involved in something like he had like a small time gig on the back pedal like of some some back burner operation just because of this connection there's something really serious they're, they're not telling us about this dude Oh, exactly. There you go. That's the whole thing. This There's is it. There's definitely something going on, and that's that's probably it right there. This uh, oh wait, to form aerospace contractor Lockheed Martin. Oh, so yeah. So these are the financial and financial guys behind the Lockheed Martin, basically, and they were going to get audited for some shit, and they paid him off as an IRS auditor not to. Uh, look into them and and that's this was he got hooked up as a result i mean well, that makes that's that. what makes sense to me this was uh 1984 and then it oh, was I also see what you're saying because he was irs and went and audited them then they gave him a job and paid him ridiculous money right you it, when you when you're an irs auditor the, the, these people seek you out like they know they're exactly. going to get audited they they're very well connected and they will like absolutely make... and lockheed's got 
all our tax dollars to just waste and waste and waste. Right. right. And they would just be like, all right, well, we're going to get, we're going to get audited by this IRS guy. Well, let's go find out who he is. And let's basically like say, Hey, you know, you get well, well paid off and we'll hook you up. And then, you know, Oh, look at that for six <laughs> years until 1984. Theory. Then he, yeah. Then he leaves his, uh, the IRS and goes to work for this other company. Um, that well, I, I late, this other company that. that later went to form uh, Lockheed Martin. What does that tell you? That these these are the these are the financial guys that formed Lockheed Martin. The financial people that the, the you know the basically the money men. Yeah, you nailed that one there. Um, what else? There was something else. That, oh, 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 I know what I want to say. That main photograph of him where he's standing at the bar and his eyes are closed. I want people, I'm not, I, I'm not trying to say that this, the guy was dead at the time. I want you to take a real close look at that photograph. Let's, I'm going to bring it up on the screen. Yeah, before. bring it up. Look at the color of his skin, and I want to tell people there's a 13 under his neck. It's clearly visible. And I noticed it from day oh, one. Oh, yeah. Well, it's like almost like the shadow of his Adam's apple. but Bring it up on the screen once and look at it once. Yeah, I got it up here right now. And that's his strange. wife from the Philippines right there. So he's doing a shot with her. But, but he, his skin color looks terrible. It looks to me like somebody that's dead and they put makeup on him and took a picture of him. His eyes are well, closed. Well, he's in the club and he's got the green uh, light from the lights in the club on his hair. So it's poor lighting. But what's, so. So, what's so ridiculous, Jeremy, is that's the best photograph they could come up with. Or is that their way of trying to make the guy look like a drunk and a drug addict? That's another thing that's strange. He just got a psychotropic uh, prescription that day. Um, trying to remember what type of psychotropic drug it was, but it's the same drug that they would pump into you uh, when MK Ultra would uh, use mind control on people. Lithium. He got a prescription for lithium the day he did the shooting. Really? Yeah. Well, that's, that's strange, too, because if you have too much lithium in your body, you'll, you know, they, they, they basically when you're on lithium, they, they'll it's a mood stabilizer, blood. but I don't, I don't get why that would make him go crazy. This is, there's got to be something more to the story, dude. I don't know. Well, in MK Ultra, they would use lift. They would put people on lithium before they would use mind control tests and techniques on. They that's the drug. They well, there was in. sodium pentothal. There was a whole bunch of a variety of chemicals that they experimented yeah. with under MK Ultra and, and and various other CIA mind control yeah. programs. What but, if he um, was? What if he did do the shooting? And what if he was a Manchurian candidate? What if he did? Yeah, maybe he did. Maybe he was mind controlled into doing the shooting, or maybe he was just, you know, I, maybe he just hated country music. You know, if I paid, no, too that's what I was gonna say. His <laughs> neighbor said he loved it. His neighbor said he would blare it. Um, so, that he was loved country music. That's one thing I already looked into. So he maybe he just country. didn't like the fans. Maybe he was just like, you know, I went to, <laughs> you know, he just hated people. He had, he was. They said he was like um, aggressively antisocial, apparently. So maybe he just like went to a country music concert and like hated the people there so much that he was. I don't know. It's just so hard to come up with a motive for why this guy would. Uh, well, there's something being covered up. It's yeah, so obvious. It's ridiculous. Uh, he supposedly was a member of a couple of liberal groups, but I don't want to throw that out there just yet. Um, right, I think it's interesting, and um, I'm glad we brought up some new uh, angles on on the case and and, and um, some new yeah. information. Oh, uh, one um, more thing I wanted to pull up was this: there's supposedly a picture of him at an Antifa rally in a pink NASA shirt and a pink uh, pussy cat hat, and I am going to tell you that is not him, and I'll tell you why. This guy was like six feet five, six feet six. He was huge. Okay. They called him a gentle giant. That guy in that photograph, if he's lucky, is six feet tall. It's not him. It's being put all over CNN. Oh, no. Which is That's definitely not photograph. him. I don't believe in that picture at all. That's not him. Yeah. Guy. That's not him. This guy was massive. Yeah. They called him a gentle giant. He was a big dude, man. You can see in that picture with his eyes closed, he's pretty big next to his girlfriend, even though she's short. But he's, yeah. he's at least a foot taller than her. He's six. He's about six five, I think they said. Wonder what um. 
I wonder what the heck went wrong with him and what the hell happened. But anyways, uh, I'm glad that we're back to YouTube and doing videos. And um, I wanted to yep. at least do cool. a video on this guy and, and, and um, some of my thoughts. You know, there's still it's still too early and we still don't have enough information to make any conclusions. But uh, I just wanted to, to... No one's really talking about these angles and I wanted to put them out there. And, um, and I think, you know, me and... Dan wanted to experiment with our, our little dynamic here. So um, we're going to be tackling plenty of other subjects in the in the weeks and months to come. Um, yep. If you like what you see, then, you know, give us a holler. You can become a Patreon or uh, or donate through PayPal or whatever. And uh, we're just going to keep we're just going to keep doing this and uh, making videos. And um, you have any topics you'd like us to cover or things you want us to um, look at post in the comments below but um we got tons and tons of stuff to do especially we have so much that we can do a daily debunk video and never run out of ideas so and we're gonna we're gonna be covering ed we're gonna go over ed ed was my best friend for years ed fichet and um unfortunately he died in may 11th and the fake uh uh tr3b patent came out literally two days after he died and my you wouldn't believe the amount of emails and, and, and calls I got about it, and I already knew about it. And that is a complete bunk TR3B patent, and it is viral. It's all over YouTube, and it's total bullshit. Right, uh, and a lot of people don't even know that Ed disclosed the TR3B back in the late 90s, and um, yep. all this new information that's coming out is, is, is bunk. We've yep. already... I argued with a girl, I argued with a girl and, and she tried to tell me, no, this... This patent's from 2005. It didn't come out till 2000. I'm like, man, here is the video, lady. Take a look at this. And when she saw it, she actually messaged me back. She's got a popular channel. She actually messaged me back and was like, wow, I can't believe that. I'm like, yeah. I said, it's like no one even knows who Ed is. Right. Um, aggravating. It's it's really aggravating to me because I, I, I've known about this for so long and then you sit there and watch all this crap and, and there's really nothing you can do about it. But on this channel, uh, we're going to go over everything and um, I might bring a s special guest. I'm not going to name who on here that knows more about that craft than anybody. Yeah. And um, we'll get some people somebody that, that knew Ed since 1984. Yeah. So, and he you just wait, to dude, on, so. you guys just wait. Like, you think you uh, have seen a little bit of conspiracy stuff and, and, and you've seen it all? No, YouTube's been missing a great deal of stuff. And uh, I think we're going we're gonna to come back and, and uh, do our best to um, fill that void and also bring information that needs to be made public. I mean, we owe it to Ed. Um, yeah. What kind of happened between us is, is, is sad because uh, Ed had a real bad drinking problem. He had uh, PTSD from... Um, killing people and for the military and special forces and uh yeah. and he had um ptsd as a result of it he used to get shit faced drunk i mean we'd have great conversations we, we we'd, we'd be on here on skype all of us just going you know um yeah. going for an hour or two and then then by the end of the night i would be so drunk and, and he'd be and then he'd wind up uh just slurring insults at everybody and and, and stuff and that kind of just it set a void between us and the whole friendship and it broke a lot of things up especially over the forum because we got hacked on the forum let's be honest danny danny here was a and he was a uh, one of my admins he was um a very a very active and vocal part of that forum and um yeah. we had we had some other admins that ed led on that were friends of ed and that ed said were okay and um I'm pretty sure that, that that somehow through that avenue or somehow through Ed, um, one way or another, while Ed was drunk or um, somehow that uh, Ed let someone through the forum, and they put viruses in that. I found this top guy. He's a he's a coder. He's on. Um, he'll he'll fix any V Bulletin database and forum issue, right? And he's on there, and he, you you pay him to do it. And he's this guy from Pakistan. He's really good at coding. He knows V Bulletin. He knows V Bulletin inside and out. And I hired him to do work for me, and um, he struggled for three weeks, and then he came back to me and he said, "Dude, there's something really corrupted with this, and I cannot resolve it." But. Yeah. But uh, that has to tell you something. Like whoever hacked our forum had really, really good uh, knowledge of this program and, and some good skills and some good inside um, 
and it's kind of it kind of makes sense to me that that some of the people that um had those skills and we 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 brought them on the forum for those reasons because they had v bulletin experience and, and access and it leads me to believe that those people might have might have been responsible for whoever hacked the forum and whatever they did um i've been working on the forum i cannot get any um <coughs> That guy has looked through all five copies that I ha had, all the backups I had of the of the database of the forum, and all of them seem to be heavily corrupted beyond uh, repair. And so, all of our computers got wiped out too. If you were an yes. admin, I, I went through three computers when I was on that forum. And here's one more thing I want to add to this. Yeah. You tell me of any forum that you can't just go to the Wayback Machine then find it. Now, you'll find other versions of the alien scientist form, but we went through a couple of different... Remember, Jeremy, we went mm -hmm. through different platforms that we were testing out. It's been erased. Ed had, had 5,000 posts up there, and Ed... Some people would get to know Ed, and Ed would become friends with him for years, and then all of a sudden, they'd just totally demolish the guy, make lies up about him, whatever. And I think Ed, so, someone became Ed's friend, and they, and, they, and they may have come on the forum and may have gotten in there, and not Ed knowingly. Ed, Ed would no, never knowingly get rid of everything he posted because it used to upset him a great deal. Um, but uh, that forum was so destroyed that you can't find any traces of it. That's unheard of. I agree, That's Danny. And um, my, my computer got um, targeted, too. Um, my computer that I was using back then during the forum got um, got something got corrupted on the hard drive. They might again a data uh, database uh, file system error, yep. and then um, I don't know what happened with this com this latest computer. But uh, as you, as some of you know, a couple months ago I was playing on a return to YouTube, um, yep. and my computer just shit the bed suddenly, and I. Uh, I still don't know if it was a power surge or if it was hacked, but uh, I have really bad electrical. Oh, as you just saw the lights fade out in my apartment. Yeah. I have really, yeah. I have really bad electrical problems. But I have a surge protector and um, and a battery backup thing uh, unit set up with this computer now that I won't have that problem in the future. And I got a brand new machine, so hopefully this thing doesn't break. And if it does, the parts are covered under warranty for at least uh, the next year or two. So, um, yeah, all in all, that. Uh, together yeah Literally it's been months. taking me months to get back and i'm still not fully back i still got to get my um i still got to get the room behind me sort of set up as a better stage and i gotta get uh we just got some video editing software danny just actually bought me the video editing software that we're using to capture this video now so we got that back in action um and and we're gonna have some uh very interesting talks every night between me and Danny. I mean, like, I literally sit here and talk with Danny. I'm like, we should be recording all of our conversations and just posting it because it's, like, the most interesting, like, nobody else has this inside scoop that we do on all this stuff. And it, it's just, I really, will, I can't wait to, to get back into recording and making videos and sharing this with you all because what's out there right now is just there there's so many liars and fakers uh, i'm not going to point fingers or, na or name names but uh you're you're all you if you if you're out there and you know that you're posting stuff that's not legit you better watch out cuz me and this dude are coming for you dude we are <laughs> we got your I, number <laughs> I, 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 we're going to do this like once a day if it's possible absolutely now, there's be some days where something comes up but we're going to do it's going to be called the daily debunk and yeah. it just popped right out of his mouth one night. And I'm like, that is perfect. And it was literally what I was thinking at the same time. And I'm telling you, there's some garbage out there, but I'm not, I'm not going to say who, I'm not going to say who they are, but uh, I can debunk every bullshit video you put out and you are making a fortune off it now, aren't you? Oh, they are. And they are, uh, man. And uh, you are making a fortune, but you are not going to like what I, we do to you. <laughs> Nope, and uh, it's really sad. The disinformation channels, um, I don't know if they're pushed by the um, powers that be to push sort of disinformation and mislead people, or if they just uh, make it in the law. I think some of the stuff's just, it's just they seek attention, and it's really, YouTube has become this uh, sort of bait click. Uh, yeah, you know, it it's a bait big, click. It's a, it's right. pure bait click, and it's it's like okay. whoever has the catchiest title with the weirdest looking video, it's like that's who gets the views, and that's it. That's who gets the uh, that's who makes the big bucks. So yeah, there is a pay for massive advertisement because they make massive amounts of money. You know, it's crazy. Right. So um, 
you know maybe there is some some bait click uh and we're gonna we're gonna be doing some of that um we're gonna have to uh sink ourselves to that that level in in, in the future and too um and with uh some of the yeah, videos we that we're gonna put put out and stuff but only because we have to and only because we have better perspectives and more better information than than 90 percent of the people out there so not saying everyone out there there are there's that 10 percent that that um do, do have uh some very good insights and very good uh, information uh, from time to time but uh 90 percent of the stuff out there is it's bait click and it's disinformation and it's just uh new age when it comes, uh, whatever yeah when it comes to ufology you've got like michael schratt's a really good friend of mine and um he literally uh after this last ufo symposium he was in it was uh i call it con in the desert but it was ufo conference in the desert uh, he quit He's, and that guy's like the best researcher I've ever met. I mean, it's he's amazing. And um, he quit. He, he's done. And um, there's a lot of good guys out there that do good research that are just giving up. And that's that bugs. Hey. And I gave up for a while too. I must say, you know. You yeah, had, you gave up for years. You were gone. I was like, I, was I focused on things that I that that weren't a winning. You know, I focused on the wrong things, and you know, I want to get back into the science and the uh, and the UFOs and the X Files stuff. Um, well, you do get a away from now, though, too. You know, yeah. Baby. So you it's know, a little different. But you know, yeah, he goes yeah. to bed. It's for an, for an hour and a half. It's uh, it's it's getting on the getting on the horn with the, with and recording a video with Dan every night and doing a, doing a different topic and uh, or Dan or someone else. I'm gonna get all all my other friends on here from uh, yeah. from all of their walks of uh, the science and uh, ufology and conspiracies and whatever else, whoever else I can get on here. Anyone who wants to come on here and has something intelligent to say or uh, and a something something to talk about just hit me up and uh, we'll um i'm gonna start doing this all the time every night it's gonna be um a regular thing and also um, um how about put if you want to put videos that you want uh, uh that you think are, are are that need looked at uh ufo videos maybe down in the in the comments section and and we'll take a look at them that's one thing i'd like to do i i, I love doing that that's my favorite thing jeremy knows i've watched probably a hundred thousand videos in my lifetime and that sounds now maybe not that many but oh god he, he'll show me I'd like this this now. new ufo video that will be the hottest thing out there and it'll be some blurry nonsense that no one can discern or anything and he's like yo that's this and this and this and you go look it up and it's like that looks exactly the same <laughs> yeah, I've, I've, I've researched and mapped out every like thing that can be fake plus you also have phone apps now you have UFO phone apps that people are using left and right that'll literally put a UFO right in a video that you show. And I have pictures of, of every single one of those uh, UFOs. Um, yeah. So, I know that sounds crazy, but it's like my database. You know, I can look at it and go, boom, that's from this uh, app or that's from this app. That's what a lot of the stuff is you're seeing. Right. There's so much of it. And uh, so much can be faked now and so much even more. Uh, with the technology, right. as you're as you're saying, um, but really, it, there's uh, no better time than uh, now for us to be returning to YouTube and 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 coming back. So um, again, we'll be doing more update videos and talking more about uh, some of these other topics in the future. And uh, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. And uh, as always, do your own research, form your own conclusions. Don't just believe me. I could be wrong. But I'm probably not. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That is true. You're very smart. All right, guys. Take care. Alien scientist Later. out.